up y'all it's Kiondas and welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title I'm hopping on the I tried following so and so tutorial train but I don't do makeup so this is going to be a natural hair edition I saw Chizzy do Rudu one last week for natural 85 and I thought it was pretty cool so I decided to do it for another one of our favorite natural hair gurus the chic natural I love her channel I've been subscribed to her for quite some time since back in the gap when she was back seeing fan she's absolutely gorgeous her hair fashion makeup is always on point and even though I love chicken she makes going vegan look real appetizing but yeah her content overall is very well rounded and on top of everything that I just mentioned she gives off positive vibes and I like positive vibes so I'm gonna be following one of her protective style tutorials and the style that I chose is this edgy pony braid situation that is completely out of my comfort zone but a little switch up ain't never hurt nobody so we gonna get right into it but before I do please subscribe if you're not subscribed and tap the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video Hey everybody, today I'm here with a tutorial on a braided do I did recently. So I'm starting with she clean right stretched into the video, hair. I like. To prep for this style, I did my normal wash routine and then I very lightly blow dried my hair. First thing I'm gonna do is section off some hair at the front. I'm making a side part going back and I'm stopping right at my crown. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hold oh, no. up. Then I'm making a horizontal part to connect I can't get my both of those straight. parts I just made. We just gonna put her on pause while I straighten this up. Like, how does she get her parts that straight? I had a comb with the little metal end, but it went on the glory. It just snapped. Disrespect. Right, back. part later. Now for the back, I'm doing three sections to make three ponytails. For the first one, I'm starting right above my ear and I'm gonna bring that part across. Bring that part across. Bring that part across. Ooh. Just like that. No. And I want this to be sleek and smooth. So I'm applying some gel around the edges. Hold on. I'm gonna brush it all into Hold place on. and make a high ponytail. Not yet. Not ready. Make my part look like trash. Where's my mirror? Excuse me. Back in a clamp and rewind you a little bit. And I want this style to be sleek and smooth, so I'm applying some gel around the edges. I mean, to be honest, her edges was already smooth when the video started. But I digress. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Wrong side. Oh no. I'm really going through it. I gotta feel this edge control, so I'm trying to play me. Lord, please don't let this edge control turn white. hair in the back I'm gonna part that in half and do the exact same thing apply some gel brush it up and make a ponytail all right so I'm gonna pause her while I do this I feel like my first ponytail may be a little bit too low but you know what we just gonna rock with it What's next? All right, now I'm gonna make the braid. And since I want mine to be really thick and long, I'm adding in this braiding hair. I'm right out of the pack, it has this rubber band on it. And that's what I'm gonna use to hair. attach it. So at the top ponytail, I'm bringing oh, no. my hair through the opening of the rubber band. Get it at the rubber. And we're gonna take the hair. And just put the braid on the thing. Got it, got it. Now what? Rubber band. 
Then I'm gonna take out a small piece of the braiding hair and I'm gonna wrap just that piece around the base of my ponytail. Okay. And this secures the braiding hair really good and tight so it stays in place and it also covers up the elastic band. All right. You're twirling. Then I'm just going to pin the end of that piece down with a bobby pin so it doesn't unravel. Hold on, I'm still twirling. So now I have my hair and the braiding hair and I'm taking the braiding hair and placing it on top. Still twirling, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to divide that into... Pause. Pause. I'm going to divide that into three pieces and commence to making a braid. Mm, come on, commence. Come on, commence. Let me turn around so y'all can see these angles. <laughs> as I'm doing this, I'm bringing in the rest of the hair and I'm keeping it together as tight as possible so it all looks really uniform and neat. And you also wanna to try to make it really flush to your head as you're braiding down. Her so bad. So I'm gonna break that all the way to the end okay. and secure it with a little band. Last thing to do is tackle the front. So I'm you can leave front. it out like this if you want, but I'm gonna do a little pompadour type of action. So I'm brushing it all out to make sure it's well detangled. Then with my hair hanging down towards the front, I'm dividing that into three pieces and I'm gonna make a very loose plait. So I'm going to take that and fold it backwards. I'm taking hold the on, end of the plait and I'm tucking it, it under itself hold and hold then on. I'm going to pin that down right where I don't think it's loose enough. I'm loosening it. Okay. Right where it meets the braid so it all looks connected. And then after that, you just shape it however you like the shape to be and then pin it down in place. And for the final step, like I always do, I'm gonna smooth and just shape show my you edges. that this so is not something I'm I do well. Tiny bit more gel right around the perimeter. And then I'm gonna brush that in place with my hair toothbrush and tie it all down with a scarf to set. This ain't something I do on a regular, so bear with me. And here is the finished look. I mean, up close, it looks bad, but it's not bad, bad. If I would've started out on straight hair, this would've been a look, because right now you can see the wool peeking through this connect line, and that ain't the look I'm going for. But I actually like this style. I feel like I'm serving Tomb Raider realness, so I'm not gonna give it a pass, I'm not gonna give it a fail, I'm gonna give it a knees tutoring. The tutorial's relatively easy to follow, I just need a little bit more practice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with all you people, and until next time, I will talk to y'all later.